Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Hello, God's love. Hope you are all okay. My best wishes and most loving greeting to you. Today, I have some urgent and important things to uh, solve with you. And uh, this involves even Kadaism. To many of you, this religion may not be familiar, but you could look on the internet to find out it originated in Vietnam. For some days before today, I have been sent urgent messages for me to do something, to share some information, but I have been too busy. And so I did not really check to see where it was from. And uh, yesterday, the message is very clear and kind of pushing, but uh, encouraging me to participate, to study, and to look at the issue. So I left much of the workload at about three, four o'clock in the morning yesterday. Today is the 26th. No, uh, no, no, on the 25th. Yeah, that's right. The 25th of of uh, August 2024. So I sat down and requested uh, the sender of the messages. Please tell me what is all about that is so urgent. And please let me know who you are also. So it all came out very clear, a vision of, let me see, I noticed some here, of uh, Kaudai saints and sages and also uh, how many here? Oh, be patient with me. I have just a very quick note. It's not very uh, easy to read. I'd like you type it and read it. Or have it on the teleprompter or anything. Oh, never mind. I don't see it. I'll tell you later. Oh, I know what happened. I wrote some on paper and some on the phone because I was in the dark. I didn't want to get up and take more paper. So I'm going to look for that phone and i come back. i stop just for now. So, okay, I'm back here. The meeting was chaired by His Majesty the King of the Kaudai realm, which uh, I will tell you more of later. I just read it as it goes. Well, I'm not used to reading ready-made things, especially in shorthand and not very clear. Okay. His Majesty, the King of Kaudaism in the, we call it the Kaudai realm, chaired that uh, this uh, gathering, this meeting of many Kaudai saints and sages all together, this is not all that they had there. It was just the main important saints and sages in the council. So there were 58 uh, Kaudai saints and sages on uh, the 24th of August, not the 25th. Yeah, time passed so quick, sorry. I have written here 24th of August. And the chief of the meeting was also His Majesty the King of uh, the Kaudai realm. Uh, his holy name is Dai uh, Thanh De Quang in Vietnamese. I'm worried that I don't know how to translate it uh, correctly. For me, more or less, it's like His Majesty, Great Saint King. Yeah, Great Saint King. Or maybe Great Saint Emperor King, yes. 
I'm sorry if I offend you, Your Majesty, and all the saints. I'm not used to Kaudaism that much. It's the first time I've ever truly been in contact with you. Forgive me for any mistakes. And thousands of uh, attendees of different ranks, all kinds of ranks from that realm. I was also lifted up there to see them, their wondrous, beautiful realm as well. And this meeting was about a person, a being who's supposed to be the good and pure medium. So you can say like the transmitter of the saints and sages teachings from the higher realm of Kaudaism. That person's name is uh, Hui Bu, or in Chinese, Hua Bao. I did not know about him personally until a few weeks ago when I accidentally read some of his writings, posted on, I think it was YouTube. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. It must be YouTube then, yes. As I told you, I have no SIM phone, and since then I discover many things. Uh, before, sometimes I read the news only from Western uh, reporting. I have never looked and see a Vietnamese news report before. Very rarely, sometimes it pops up. I used to look at like uh, Microsoft, yeah, and they report many things. And I'm more looking into like world peace or something disturbing like pandemics or animal people, funny clips, you know, to send to the Supreme Master television team in case they can see what they need or what they can use or they can be inspired to research more about this and that subject or report it in the news. And uh, nowadays that is uh, done by another team because I really don't have enough time anymore even if I don't eat and I don't sleep. I could never finish my whole day's work if that also included that news because uh, once you're in the news, you have to do a lot of research. Now, this Mr. Hui Bu, he wrote his name, and he even claimed himself to be Diamond Shi Hui Bu, meaning Great Master Hui Bu. I never knew him before, though he claimed to be my disciple. And some people... Some of my so-called disciples knew him and told me, because I didn't know who he was. So I kind of uh, posted it and asked, and some of my so-called disciples say that he is my disciple until he became was my disciple because of his scheme. Now, this meeting was about how the Kaudai Rim leaders, saints and sages, and His Majesty the King of Kaudaism, uh, lodge a complaint, not a complaint, a request to me. I did not uh, know much about this way, but, you know, until recently, and I didn't think it was too much of a problem. After they told me that he is my disciple, I thought, what kind of disciple is this? Doing things that are not proper, like he just uh, went and gave initiation to people without notifying me at all or asking me. Because normally we do it like this, people have to apply, yeah? So we can have some of their whereabouts and contact information. So that when we have the initiation, we don't just do it like one by one. We don't have a lot of time and enough people to give initiation one by one all the time. It sometimes happens, it just depends, yeah? If that person is already in Sihu or maybe New Land Ashram, then we can do that. But mostly they apply first through the centers and then centers send it to a department. And then that department will send all their names listed to me. Well, I don't really need their names and photos. It's just that it's good for the administration to give them their initiation ID. So when they go into the ashram, they have priority and they can come in and sit in the meditation hall together, yes, while others maybe stay outside or are doing their own meditation or playing with their children or buying some food from the vendors which we allow to come in. 
in a section of the ashram, vegan food, vegetables, and other necessities. It's a small group of vendors from nearby in the vicinity. Yeah, we used to have that also in Sihu, so the villagers could bring their vegan food, their own cultivated vegetables and fruits, and their own made vegan cakes, proteins, tofu, and whatever things they cook. You can eat it right away or can buy it to bring home. Yeah, all kinds of products. And we never take any money from these vendors. We just uh, give them the space so that they come and put out their products in their own space that's assigned to them. Then they can sell it directly to whomever wants to buy them. <laughs> 